Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's Empire Review. Yeah. Right off the top, I'm not even mad at this episode. Yeah. Finally, I get an episode where I, I'm not mad. Yeah. So, it was called A Wise Father Knows His Own, right? So we start off, we start off in church. I said, okay, bring it into Easter Sunday. Y'all yeah. do what y'all do. Well, Andre's sickness have brought the family together and they brought them to their knees, literally. Yeah. Lucius Lyon is sitting in church. And not only is he sitting in church, he's enjoying it. Yeah. Um Because you know after all he is God. Remember? Yeah. According to yeah. him, according to him. So the message of the hour was get your house in order. Mm -hmm. So he took that to heart. He came back home and he told Cookie, listen, I heard what the pastor said. The pastor said we need to get our skit together, get our stuff in order. Maybe if we get our lives in order, some <laughs> things will fall in order with Andre and God will help us beat the sickness, all of this. And Cookie was like, eh, uh -uh. I don't want to hear none of that right now. All I want to hear is that my baby is doing better because I cannot bury my child. And Lulu was like, you need to stop talking like that, Cookie. You need to be positive. <laughs> Do something that's going to take your mind off of it. So she says, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go visit my sister Carl because that's going to put me in a good headspace and we're going to talk about the trust tour too. All that good stuff. Hmm. <sighs> she done went over there with Damon Cross over to I, his house. I, look. I thought she actually stopped messing with him after the last time. She I said, you know did what? too. You just had the hotel visit. Was a goddamn mistake. We didn't do anything. Don't tell Lucius. But hey, now, hey, hey. now all of a sudden, he's your lean on me <laughs> when I'm not strong. And he'll be your friend. <laughs> Come on now, you know this man wants you. And she want him too. And he's going to use his daughter's sickness to get to you to, so he can get in your ear because that's what men do to make you so, feel better. My question has been throughout all of this. I don't know if any of you all caught it or not, because I don't know if Damon actually said. So did his daughter beat cancer or did she succumb to cancer or is there even a daughter? Yeah, he could be lying. Is this a storyline that he's just making up to make himself feel attached to her or irrelevant to her in this time yeah. of need right here? Because he's that type of dude. He'll make up a whole scenario about something that's not even real. Yep. He probably, like you said, he probably don't even have a dog. <laughs> so he over there baking cakes and all this good stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. And she's over there having a good time. Now, Damon Cross was giving her some real good advice, but you can get that advice from a counselor. Uh huh. You can Google it. You can talk to your sister. I mean, you, you have you sisters. Can, you can watch it on YouTube. Call me. I would have gave you the same advice. It was basically like, like Ayala said, put sound to it. They love it. You have to get let your pain have a sound. Let it out. And but as he, we was like, just just you need to feel, feel it. Feel it. Yeah, that's what I want to say. So you that you don't it. fear it anymore and let it go. And and that's very important because that's that's how people end up getting addicted to alcohol, drugs, mm -hmm. sex. Whatever you can do to avoid feeling that pain, you'll get addicted to those things mm -hmm. so that you don't have to deal with it. You have to you gotta feel it. And deal with it. Yep. Yeah. So, Don't suppress it. So, Carol comes back over to the house and was like, where your husband at? <laughs> where that money at? Cookie was like, what money? She was like, the money that you owe me, because evidently, I'm helping you work on, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to say, on the, on the trust too. tour. On the trust tour, too. What is going on with you, Cookie? And she was like, listen, I was over there at Damon Cross's house. He's been a friend to me, da, da, da. Carl was like, listen, listen, cook, listen. Boo, scared. You said you didn't sleep with him, but you haven't slept with him yet. Yeah. She said, this right here, you bake, you walk it, you skate no thin ice cookie. I'm your sister and all that good skit, but you're going to have to do something with this. This is not what you want. This is not going to end well for you. And the only thing that's going to come out of this is that you and Lucia... Gonna be at odds about this skit right Look, here. I can't, I can't stand nobody lying on me. <laughs> and don't tell me Period. first. And then don't tell me, especially, I don't want you to lie on me in the beginning. Period. But at least if you're gonna do it. Let me know. Yeah. Don't send, send me, me out send there. Send me a text and be like, 
I'm going to tell my husband that I'm going to be at such and such, but you tell him <laughs> I'm with you. That bull skit, half the time don't work because eventually the person going to figure it out he anyway. So why did Lucius call her? Because he didn't believe it. I believe he already know where she be at. He just playing uh, dumb. Uh, I don't know. I think he might be just playing dumb. So, so after church, Terry ends up having the, um, the Jesus talk with Andre. Because you know, when so somebody's on their deathbed, we need to figure out where their soul going to go. Whether they're going to go up to that upper room or they're going down yonder. So Andre said, listen, we can have the Jesus talk. But go, let me go ahead and put this out here right now. Me and Jesus used to be like this. I mean, that was my dude. Yeah, that was we, my we dog. Was my A1 since day one. But I've come to realize that Jesus <laughs> returns his love in the exchange, in 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 the payment of pain. Punishment. Punishment. <laughs> and she was like, Andre, what? And he was like, basically, don't skid on my experience. I know what you're trying to do here. I know what the good word said. But my experience has been that the love that I have for God has only been repaid to me and in Punish. Realm of punishment. And not only that, it's personal. And it's personal. <laughs> That's a good Andre. Wow. Okay. You need to you need to talk to Damon Cross. You're not big enough for it to be that personal. Uh, you're not that important. You're not that important. So she was like, huh? And he was like, my wife. <laughs> Did he say his kid? He, he said my like, wife is dead. My, no, he, no, he took my wife. He took my wife. He took my kid. I was like, so Terry was like, <laughs> basically, she's not going to give up faith. She's going, nah. she's holding on to the fact that Andre is going to see a gleam of light and it's, it's going to happen for him once again. And he's going to get baptized. But the last time he got baptized, he ended up in Jennifer Huss's, um lap. So you may not want to pray for that, Miss Terry. <laughs> you may just want him to be on Bedside Baptist. That's yeah. what you might want him to Yeah, to, let him find the do. Lord again right there. <laughs> on his own. <laughs> <laughs> so... Now we know we got this whole thing going on with Kingsley and the FBI agent actually wants she him to She's getting on my nerves. She See, is. I'm, she, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out what's her angle and why she want to take them down so bad to the point where you bringing in kids and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hey, you trying to tell us the FBI is that shady? Yeah, they are. But here's my thing. <laughs> here's my thing. And I've always said this. I don't care if it's with fights divorces, whatever it may be. If you're going to win it, <clears throat> win it fair and square. Exactly. Don't do none of this shady stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't plant nothing on nobody. Don't be lying on nobody. And don't exactly. be trying to trip nobody up in the process. Mm -hmm. Whatever the results is going to be, let it be where at the end of it, your hands are clean. And be like, okay, this is this is what had happened. Yeah. So she gets Kingsley to wear a wire. And I said, oh, so they got Fitbit wire um, watches now? Okay. So every time I get a rest model, I'll be like, what's that? What model is yeah. that? Well, we need to need to check and make sure the FBI ain't hand us through these Fitbits. Somebody listening to us because every time I say something, God darn, if I don't go on Facebook and it's advertising to me. Uh-huh. I see something right here. What in the world? <laughs> a piece of lint. Anyway. But anyway. So... He reluctantly agrees to do so. But in the meantime, Lulu is over there talking to White Tracy. And he basically lays it all out on the table. And we get to see... We get to see how them crackheads do. Yeah, my. I mean, if she didn't turn that thing all the way on... And how you going to lie to the person <laughs> that, that you lied it on? Yeah. You can't. But that's how it works, though. And she was basically like, you did this, and I thought that one day you would come back for me, and we would get married. And Lulu was like, it wasn't even like that. Yeah. And first of all, you got this boy running around here mad with me, talking about some, I abandoned him and abandoned you. And I didn't and even know he, he existed. You didn't let me know he existed. You need to tell that boy the truth. Mm -hmm. You need to let him know that, yes, I've done a lot of stuff, but abandoning my family is something that I, you that's can't put sin, that on my... That's a sin I ain't never committed. committed. I said, 
said, come on, Lulu. But that's a good message, though. I yeah. appreciate that, though, Lee Daniels, because it's a, there's some of y'all sisters out there, man, that's doing that stuff and putting your kids against the father, and you ain't even never even let them know they exist. Or if they or do, tell they, them a bad story or about yeah, tell them a bad story that ain't even true. Because you're trying to get back at him. No, you hurt the baby. Don't use no kid as a, a way to hurt somebody else, man. Because at the end of the day, you end up hurting the kid. Look at Kings. He all messed up, man. Toe up. And then you wonder why the kid's going to school and, and, and being a terror, face. being a devil at school. Don't want to listen to nobody. Can't, and they grow up there and spec authority. Mm -hmm. They in jail. They out selling drugs. Hey, you started the ball. But you can fix it, though. Show sure him. Hey. So, Lucia's and um, Thursday over there at Empire. They're just having a little chatted up conversation. And Kingsley comes walking in there. And I said, oh, so we uh -huh. on the bullskit. So you really going to do this, Kingsley? Okay. So he's talking to Lucius, but you can tell that he doesn't want to do mm -hmm. what he's about to do. So he's asking these all these questions about this and about that. And in the meantime, you know, Luke, you know how sometimes you volunteer information that don't mean anything mm -hmm. to you, but it's it's clicking in somebody else's head. Yeah. So during the conversation, Lucius let Kingsley Low Kingsley Low <laughs> Kingsley know that He's never did um, crack a day in his life. He said, exactly. I only sold it. Yeah, was he was like, I know what that stuff can do. No, no, no. Your mama, you know, she was, she, she got it from me. But we ain't never did that skit together. No, no, you can't put that on me. Um, so, Kaysen started asking some questions and started making Lulu go. Hmm. So I asked about the financials. Yeah, talking about something, you know, I need to sit underneath for your teachings. <laughs> yeah. Your master class to see how in the world did you turn this rubbish that yeah, I left I know ain't nobody give you no loans. Back into this empire that's now on tour. How did you do it? Because ain't no banks giving y'all loans right now. He was like, so are there some connections, some overseas accounts? That like, Lucia said, like, you know come what? on, come on now. Lucia said, I got a fire that I need to put out right now. So maybe hey, we can Thursday, get together a little later. Here. <laughs> I said, Lulu. I'm so glad that you did not let your emotions mm -hmm. get in the way get in the way and steer your discernment in a whole nother direction. But as you own it that but time. At the, but at the same time, I'm like, if the FBI is going to send the boy over there to get some information, at least train the boy on how, right. to, how to get in good with the daddy first. Let it be some weeks, maybe some months. For real. You know, so that he can build a trust factor. But right out the gate, asking about financials, after he just destroyed the place, he know what the financials is. He did it. Yeah. So that's red flag right there. Mm -hmm. Dumb. So Kingsley leaves from over there and he goes over there to speak to his mama because at one point Lucius had asked him, said, did your mama send you over here? Because the questions just seem so out there yeah, uh -huh. that someone sent you. Who yeah. sent you for? <laughs> so if your mama you, didn't send you, me? FBI sent you. And that's yeah. what he told Thursday. He said, oh, oh boy over here with the FBI. Okay. So Kingsley basically was like, Mama, what happened? What's going on? And if she did not put 20 on motherfucking 10. Yeah. And he knew it this time. He knew it. He knew she was lying this time. She talking about something. He got me pregnant. He got me and him. We used to do drugs together. Lucius had already volunteered that information that he never did drugs before. Never. Had sat over there and talked about how... He said that when he got, when I got pregnant, that um he was going to beat the baby out of the stomach. I mean, just all kinds of foolishness. For no reason. And Kingsley was like, so is that how it happened, Mom? Really? And I said, that got done crackhead manipulation but, demon. See, I actually thought that she was going to actually make it right. I did too. I, was I, had, I had a glimmer of hope that she's going to be like, you know what? Let me stop lying. Because my son is getting messed up by all this. Let him get a relationship with his daddy that I hid. Mm -hmm. So that he can go on about his life and stop being my freaking terror against him. Uh -huh. for my no enemy for no freaking reason. For no freaking reason. But nah, yeah. Uh -huh. And them crackheads don't do that. <laughs> nah. So and Kingsley, don't y'all be coming here getting mad at us even because y'all know it's true. Yeah, if you get mad, it's because <laughs> it's it you. <laughs> or somebody in your family that's close to you. We're not speaking about something that we don't heard. We're speaking about some skit that we know. Mm -hmm. Experience. <laughs> yes, God. Mm -hmm. So Kingsley ends up going right back over there talking to Lucius. And he was like, 
I need to know the real story. Mm -hmm. How did Tracy meet, meet Lucius? And Lucius was like, he almost had this like, now I get to tell, tell you. you everything. Yeah. And Kingsley said, I can handle it. Let, let me know what had happened. And Lucius put it all out there. Listen, what I thought I was doing, I bucked up. I yeah. thought that if I would let your mom have my product because I knew that my stuff wasn't full of that bullshit that was out there on the streets, that she would be getting a better quality of drug. So basically, <laughs> I gave her the lesser of the evils that are out there. And she did it, and she liked it, and she got hooked, and she she went from being cute Tracy to this Tracy to crackhead Tracy to strawberry Tracy, and she was out there. But he was like, so Lucius was like, okay, but it's I, your mama, but I'm gonna respect the fact that that's still your mom. Yeah, I do like the fact that he said he tried his best to talk out, and he told her everything that they're gonna do to you, and she still wanted mess, it. And she still wanted it. So he was like. I didn't know you existed. I didn't. And I'm still on this, where's the DNA test? Even Thurston said, I really think you need to have a DNA test for this mm -hmm. one right here. Yep. Yeah. Because you basically put it out on Front Street in front of the sun that she was out there bucking all kinds of dudes. Yep. I mean, that's what they do. If they can't afford it, they got to buck for it, you know? So, <clears throat> could be anybody. Yep. And Lulu over there just embracing him and bringing him into the fold without the confirmation that he really is yours. Mm -hmm. I don't really get that part, but okay, that's noble of you. Yeah, but that's you know that's that's Lucia's code though, family. So well, if hell, you, if you say you family, not me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I fit right in. Huh. I throw. I'll hang some some suckers out the window. Cause my office hours are what? From nine to five. To fall. Um. So we don't got us a good report from the doctors. Let's see. Let's just say that Andre hasn't been declared cancer free. He still has another round yeah. of treatment to go through. But they're hoping that after this next round of treatment, that he will be in remission and that you know he's going to be back to normal. But Andre is looking good at this point because mm -hmm. when we first came on the episode, his lips were chapped, uh -huh, were yeah. grayish black. And I was like, which I Y'all gonna stop messing with my god uh, yeah, doing yeah, yeah, Andre. Yeah. Like we said, it, 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 yeah, they definitely... Now I'm thinking that it's gonna be... Uh, I think it's King, gonna be Kingsley. I, I think it's gonna be Kingsley because now he got Lucius' heart. He done cried over Kingsley. Mm -hmm. So that means his heart is in it now. Yeah. So um, before they ended up um, departing from each other, Kingsley showed Lucius the wire that he was wearing. Yeah. And they embraced and did all that stuff. And Kingsley took the goddamn watch right back to the FBI. He was like, I'm not doing this. I, I ain't no snitch. I, I, and I'm I not a mean, rat. Yeah. He was like, oh, so now you a big old bad lion now. He was like, but I'm not a rat. Now so, now, now I'm going to take all y'all down. I was like, wait, 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 wait. She get on my I'm like, what, she Who do you want? Head. First you want freaking David and Lucius. Now you want to take him down and everybody down. So, yeah. It's just not making any sense to me. You better mess around because they're going to end up taking you down. Yeah. Huh. So when Andre got the good report, the family, of course, rallied around. They was cheering and da-da-da-da-da. But where did Cookie go? Back over there. She took her goddamn harm pass right back over there to that goddamn damn across because he already told her, you going to do what, Stanley? You going to come back to, to me. me. <laughs> and she's been coming back yep. to him. And he's over there, he's making some nice old rosemary chicken and drinking some wine. Mm -hmm. And he's whining and dining her. And I mean, he just got her wide open. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play devil's advocate right here, right now. Cookie has always got the skinny end of the Lucia's stick. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'll feel a little good to know that your girl still got it too. Hmm. She could go out there and pull them just as much as you went out there and pulled them and broke her heart, had her rat hair act crazy mm -hmm. and making her feel insecure. But she know he ain't gonna see it that way though. Oh no, nah, never. He gonna see it a whole, never. whole nother way. So uh, Cookie was like, you know what? Because everything that her sister Carl was saying to her started ringing back in her ear. Like, listen, this feels good. It sounds good, but in hindsight. You gonna buck your marriage up over mm -hmm. this, and is it really worth it? And she came to herself and she told Damon. She said, "You know what? 
thank you for everything you've done for me. But this was a mistake. Yeah, I ain't supposed to be here. I ain't even supposed to be here with you. This, this I gotta go. And she grabbed her furrer <laughs> and she left up out of here. And back to her home, she went. So we're sitting over there at the house. We have a Sunday dinner, right? I don't know if it's Sunday, but it looked like Sunday dinner. Yeah, it looked. And um, they're all sitting there and they're waiting for Lucius. And when I say everybody's there, everybody's there, even Kai. Oh, he can go. But anyway, um, <laughs> they're sitting at the I table. Open now, boy. Oh, yeah. Sitting at the table. <clears throat> and Lucius comes in late with a date. <laughs> the other son. And for a minute, Andre forgot that he even had cancer, y'all. Andre, Andre was said, like, I mean, the whole, the whole vibe in that dining room just like changed. It was like <laughs> they like they all was about ready to dive on Kingsley. And even Kai, Kai was like, "Should I run or like, should I stay? Like, why? What is, the hell why is, is going on here?" Lucius came in there and put his foot down. He said, "You know what? This is my son. I am introducing him into this fold that I could that I call family." He is now a part of the Lion family. Make room for my son at the table. I was like, uh-uh. This may not be fixed tonight, uh -uh. but tonight is going mm -hmm. to be a start. First of all, Lucius, uh -uh. You, don't, you need you, to page somebody. Yeah, you just can't insert him like that. You just can't copy and paste him. <laughs> right in the middle of my <laughs> right, sentence. Yeah, right here. You can't do that. Cookie said, why need him? Why need him? I'm going to need some more wine. I need come, more, yeah. more, 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 and more. Cause this dude just just took the empire, destroyed the empire, bankrupt y'all. Y'all living in the mansion with no and air, balled it up, no and gave heat. it back to you. Yeah, and he just gave it back to y'all, and he just he just insert like, oh. him back in and say, "This is my son." No, nah, no, nah. this is nah, my son. You need to well, have a, you need to have a prior conversation. So Kesa sit his hind parts down, and he's he he owned the fact that I know I've done some stuff. They don't give two bucks about what he and, got to say right now. And Cook is like, <laughs> knock if you buck. I will stab you at this table. I will stab you at this table. <laughs> and I will bury your body and nobody will ever find you. So, they ended up starting to eat and whatnot. And Jamal was like, listen, since we got this guy doing deadly silence in this room, let me go ahead and, and, and um, say, I'm so happy that my brother is feeling much better. Hey. Um and seeing you fight for your life made me realize that it's time for me to start living. We need to stop all this planning this, getting fitted for tux this. Me and Kai have decided that we want to get married right away. So we know that this is the way that they're going to take Jamal away for the last two episodes that they say he didn't film for or they took him away because of that whole thing. Yeah. That we don't know. I wasn't there. He didn't call me and tell me the details. He should. Yeah, so they they're probably, they're probably gonna have him going on a honeymoon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And have him going on up out of here. And we won't see him for the last couple of episodes. So we know that's what's gonna happen. Um, so everybody was like, you know, congratulations. You know, they're gonna do it right away. And <laughs> Lucia said, Oh, that's a big step, Jamal. That's a big step, step mile. So I was like, okay, are you not accepting it at this pace or which but he let it go. And he let it go. Cheers. Yeah, and everybody was like, okay, whatever. And so basically, that was... Was that it? That was the episode, man. Oh, no, it wasn't. At the end of the episode. Now I ain't going to talk about this whole tour, but I will say this. Oh, with the Becky uh, and the FBI girl. Yeah. This whole tour right here, is Tiana going to be the thought of the tour? Yeah, because she's she rolling between all of them. Oh. Blake, Blake, now Devon. She needs a calendar. Who yeah. got Monday? Who got Tuesday? Who got Wednesday? But you know what I think Thursday she, isn't But you know what I think she really doing? She fucking with, with Hakeem Head. That's and what it's she working. Doing. And it's working because... It... But he would end up over there with, um, what her name? Precious? What her name is? I can't even think of her name. I keep wanting to call her Ryan by her real name, but I can't think of the child yeah. right now. Yeah, her. Her. Um, I know her name just as good because I've been calling it off. Whatever. Yes. So, Becky comes over to Empire, not Empire, over there on tour. And the FBI is everywhere with the dogs and everything. And she was like, hold on. What, what's going where's on Where's your warrant? And she was like, oh, you, you're the smart one. You ain't going to let them take you down like this. She was like, what are you 
talking about? Yeah. She was like, oh, your boss is using this tour as an undercover to transport drugs across the nation. Like, come on now. We really need to stop this. Yeah. That. We really need to stop this. So that's the that's that eighties, um, seventies and eighties bulls kid that people used to do. So basically, at this point, you planting stuff. Yeah. You can't get in fair and square, so now you're gonna plant some skit, or you're gonna do it in a way to make them think that you planted something, so they can get the information that you want. Either way, I'm sick of this lady. Mm-hmm. Thirsty. I need thirsty to pop in and take care of her. I don't know how. You gonna be able to do that? But Thirsty oh, he, always he, finds he, a way. He always find a way. He gonna find a way to get rid of her. And I need. He to ain't got no me. choice because his nick is on the chopping block, on both sides. More on Damon Cross side though. Yeah. So <laughs> at this point, I really am convinced that it's gonna be more of Kingsley in that cast. I never really thought that it was um, gonna be Andre. Yeah, know? that was. It's too that obvious was now. Too easy. Yeah, it's too easy for him. Like that, at this point, we'd be pissed off. But it could be Hakeem. But I think it what's going to end up happening. They ain't featuring him. But I think it's end up going ha- going to happen in the next couple of episodes. They're going to draw us into Kingsley and make us like him again. Not me. Well, I ain't going to say it again because we hate him out the box. Yeah. But make us like him. Uh, just like on Power when we started hating Kanan. <laughs> and then as the episodes start progressing, like, we, we started like, like, I, like I like Kanan, man. He a cool cat. And then they killed him and pissed us off. And we forgot about all the bullshit that he did in the past. I bet you they're going to do us like that with King. You watch. First of all, now I'm not going to say that. I guess that first of all, Lee Daniels ain't that good. But I ain't going to say that. <laughs> we'll see. But I did say it. Anyway, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty sound. To uh, to down. Holla. Holla.